Have you ever wanted a game experience that is so punishing that one mistake, something as simple as stepping outside your cabin, can kill you in a moment's notice? If you said yes, the long dark may be up your alley, but I won't be stopping there, as today we will be playing the most challenging game mode, Interloper, in which the world is as cold as it can be, the resources are spread out super thin and sparse, and deathly whiteout blizzards occur almost every single day, all while starting with barely anything. Survival for me will be a blessing, especially with my 35 total hours. Anyways, everyone, wish me luck as I try to survive one day in this brutal game mode. Ah, there's nothing quite like breathing in the frigid, frigid, cold, fresh air. Or I guess dead air looking around the area. Anyways, everyone, welcome to the long dark. I would love to introduce you guys a little bit better right now, but if you look at my temperature bar, we are on a clock that is ticking. The one thing I will say while I'm collecting sticks and birch bark around the area is that we have probably like a 10% chance of survival given how many hours I have in the game. Because all we have for clothing is a single sweater, some sneakers, and the temperature is currently negative 12 degrees. Which is not very good when I want to survive, not to mention we're in Ash Canyon, which is a terrible, terrible spot to be. And of course, there are already wolf howls in the distance. That's perfect. If, uh, if I told you Ash Canyon was a good spot! Oh no, 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 wait, 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 please, 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 please leave me alone. Oh my god, there are more. I, I, I'm just running. I'm just running. I'm just running. We're gonna figure out what to do after. All right This is terrible. This is terrible. This is actually terrible. Let's keep her calm look around for any structures right now Anything I, I need to run. I need a haul. Give me the stone oh. He did not get scared from that no, please God it's fine. It didn't make us bleed. We somehow survived. I need to find shelter right now. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're gonna hop inside and we're gonna calm down a bit. Yeah, no, that was bad. That was really, really, really bad. We have a potbelly stove in here, some firewood, a cooking pot. You know what? It's not that bad. We didn't get ripped apart, thankfully. Somehow, some way, we didn't bleed. Now we're gonna take a take a small little chill pill. We're gonna loot this cabin, and we're gonna see what we have. After that, we can hopefully find another location to get as much loot and food as possible, right? So let's see what we have around here. We got some cloth. We have an arrowhead, two arrowheads, some reclaimed wood, a ragged down vest and a ski jacket. That's actually so awesome. It's looking on up for us. We also have a few books here, which I can use for fire starting material. We got wood matches, which is huge. That means I can craft up some very nice things. Basically torches. I want to warm up and I want as many torches as possible, but we'll get to that in a little bit. For now, let's keep on looting, in which we have a diary page, which is kind of useless, some ketchup chips, which is not, another box of matches, some papers, a sewing kit, some books, and finally a can of dog food. I'll take it for now. All right. You know what? This is not that bad. Oh my God, is that more matches? <laughs> wow, we got really lucky with the matches today, huh? Damn. Okay, there's a lot of stuff I can do inside of this cabin right now. And now that we are in a safe position, we can, uh, you know, start to coexist a bit. Because as it stands right now, we are slowly freezing to death and we had a huge chunk of our condition taken out by that wolf. In which I kicked its butt, by the way, let's be honest here. No, you know, no tools to my name, no weapons, I just punched that bad boy right in the nose. So yeah, my first order of business is to get a fire started, then warm up, then acquire water, and then find a way out of this place. I don't want to be in Ashland Canyon because I remember this spot not having too much in terms of loot or structures, which is what I need right now. 
Also, if you are wondering how I'm navigating throughout this area, I am using a map, because I don't have as much experience as the average player, so knowing where I'm going is going to be the only way I survive. So yeah, we will be able to chart out a course out of here, if my navigation skills actually help me. That's for later me to worry about though. For now, let's get this fire started so I can warm up and then craft up a few things. So we're gonna be throwing in some wood matches, a stack of papers, and a single book with an 80% chance of success. Now we just throw some fuel inside and we have ourselves a potbelly stove, which is gonna keep me warm. Which is really good because it sounds like a blizzard just started outside. It also looks like it's becoming dark very quickly. So I think we're gonna hunker down in here as long as possible. So yeah, now that we have that cooking up, I am going to start to boil water. So I have a whole bunch to save my life. We'll start off with two liters. And then we're gonna be going around the area, breaking apart as many crates as possible. So I have a bunch of wood to feed the stove. Alrighty, that'll keep the fire going on for a little while longer. I don't really have anything else I want to do right now because outside it is a blizzard. And if you don't know, being outside during a blizzard is terrible because I will freeze to death. And two, I can't have torches out. So you know what? I think my plan right now is to stay here for the night or at least until the blizzard goes away so I can find extra firewood to put into our stove. Let's wait for our water to pass by though, so we have some good, good potable water. Okay, not bad. Let's go hop out very briefly, and let's see if we can find some more sticks to fuel up our stove. Alrighty everyone, it looks like the weather is a little bit mild for today. I don't think we're gonna find much, but I won't go too far away from the cabin. We will head back inside as soon as we get cold enough. I can grab some basic supplies for now though, like these cattails and a whole bunch of other forageables. <laughs> it is terrible out, dude, holy hell. We won't be able to stay out here for a while, but we do have these cattail heads, which I can eat and process. Yeah, nope, that's it though. Let's head back inside for the night. Holy crap, it's bad out. Holy hell, it's bad out there right now. I am a tad worried that we don't have enough fuel for the night and I might just freeze to death inside that little spot there. So yeah, we're kind of screwed, but hopefully we will just be able to insulate ourselves inside there. I am going to throw in the extra two pieces of reclaimed wood, and the reason why I want to do that is because I want some torches, right? We can take torches from this fire, and having these will save my life later. For one, I can save matches if I go outside and start a fire with a torch instead of using it, you know, outright. And two, I can daisy chain them out and slowly keep me a little bit more warm than if I didn't have one. So yeah, we're gonna be grabbing every single little bit we can out of the stove. Okay, we have ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven torches, all in varying conditions. That should save our life. We're gonna use the last of this fuel to boil up this water and then we're gonna go to sleep. Can I grab one more actually? Come on, no. What if I threw in a... Nah, it's not worth it. I'll take the water and we will go to sleep. And we have woken up finally. I did have to pass the time a few times and we are a little bit hungry, but we are alive, but we are alive. And of course, as soon as I wake up, there's probably gonna be another blizzard out here, isn't there? Alrighty everyone, it looks like we're gonna be rotting indoors for quite the while longer. Before I do that though, let's look around for some supplies like sticks, right? At least we can use up our time. No, we're, we are, it's not good. We're going back inside. As soon as it clears up, we are heading out though. Back to bed rotting.
It is insane to me how this blizzard is still going on, man. It's calmed down though, so it might be clear enough out for me to head on out. Okay, it is. It's currently freezing. Can I pull up my torch and use it? I can! Awesome. Let's get a move on then. Alright, I'm pretty sure if we follow this river all the way down, we'll be able to grab some cattails on the way and hopefully get out of this area in one piece. Now I am going to be grabbing all of the cattails on the way because this is going to be my only food for a while and I would be insane to pass this up. Now you also might be asking yourself, why is it important that I have a torch out right now despite the fact that I'm freezing to death extremely fast? And it's quite simple. This torch right here is going to be my only source of defense against a wild animal, right? If a wolf or a bear comes up on me, me having this torch, the wind's too strong. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. You know what? We're just going to get a move on. If we see a wolf, I will hightail it back to the cabin. For now, I just want to grab as much food as possible and get the hell out of here. This place sucks. Oh, and speaking about wolf, there's one right down there. Awesome. I'm going to try to avoid them as best as I can. Never mind, there are two. Okay, guys, looks like we're heading on back home. <laughs> yep, just a little bit more and we will be all set and ready. I'm going to grab as much firewood as possible, though, because I need more water. Also, if you look in the distance right now, I see a couple of rabbits. I just picked up these stones and I'm hoping that we will be able to kill a couple of these things. Come on. I'm gonna hunt these down right now because this might be an easy way of food right now. Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna give up trying to kill those rabbits. <laughs> that was extremely embarrassing. Oh, dang it, I threw the last one as well. We still might be able to kill it, but right now grabbing sticks is much more important to me. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, meat's back on the menu. Pick him up, pick him up, kill him. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, that's good. That's some good stuff right there. All right, let's go grab some more sticks, and we are going to be cooking for tonight. Oh, meat's back on the menu. Now, if I could kill that other one, we would have ourselves a real meal. I mean, we got two more stones. I'm still picking up some sticks around the area. I think I'm gonna try my luck. We can get our condition back when we're inside of the cabin with all of these sticks here. Oh no, oh no, nope, nope, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh, okay, we made it, we made it, we made it. Oh, I stared him down for a while. Okay, that's all we're gonna be doing today. We are warming up inside. And we have ourselves a free rabbit carcass to harvest. All right, that's some good stuff. Let's go uh, tear this thing apart. And uh, yeah, we're going to be spending the rest of our day inside here. <laughs> Yippee. All righty. We are going to have to rip this thing apart with our bare hands right now. So we're going to grab the meat. We're going to grab the hide and we're going to grab the gut. We have no tools, so let's just dig on in. <laughs> oh, yeah. I am freezing to death. Please stop. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Oh, my God. Okay. We need to warm up now. That right there is what you call a beginner mistake. I am going to have to stay in here for the rest of the night in order to circumvent that. Thankfully, we did pick up the cattails, and we do have the meat to cook up now, so it's not the worst. Now we can throw in the sticks we found. Now, let's go rip apart this rabbit after I'm done cooking up this water. Hell yeah, we got ourselves one kilogram of raw rabbit. And we have ourselves some potable water as well. The fire's gonna continue for an hour 30, so I can start on the other things now. Like cooking up a nice slab of raw rabbit meat. Okay, that should keep me going for quite the while longer. Let's harvest the rest of this stuff out of this little guy. And then we can finally sleep a bit.
Now that right there is gonna be a nice morsel to eat later. Okay, now what we're gonna do is cook up water for the rest of the day, and we are gonna harvest the hide and the gut from this little guy here. And with a little bit of elbow grease and time, we have finally harvested up this rabbit here, giving me a bunch of meat that I will eat for the night, including a fresh gut which I will dry out for a future use later. And now that we have everything, I think it's about time we sleep. We have enough water, we have enough food, yeah, nope, the only thing that's left to do is to do that. So I will see all of you guys in the morning, when hopefully things are a lot better for me. Man, I forget how bad it is sleeping in this game. We've woken up a few hours before dawn, and it still sounds like the blizzard is going on outside, but we are pretty warmed up, so I'm gonna go pay a small little visit outside to do a little bit of extra foraging, and then we're gonna launch ourselves back inside. Oh, and it looks like the Aurora Borealis is going on. That's perfect. Well, not it's not bad, but it's actually it's pretty good because I can see running around in the dark without any aid like a torch. So let's go grab some cattails, some stones, and we will launch ourselves back inside as soon as we get cold. And with the hypothermia risk, we're going to go launch ourselves back inside. <laughs> Hopefully for the rest of the morning. <laughs> Alrighty everyone, welcome to a brand new day. And the outside actually sounds pretty clear, so let's go take a little peek, and hopefully, you know, we can actually do stuff outside. And would you look at that! The weather is actually nice-ish. I mean, we are still freezing to death very quickly, so we're gonna head back inside, which should hopefully give me a lot more time in order to think up a plan, right? Right now, our character is not the best when it comes to condition. I would say he's about at like 35%, and if I want to leave this area, I need a little bit more condition, I think, right? So, my plan is to sleep inside this place a little bit longer, and instead of going out on some big trek, what I'm gonna be doing is warming up in bed, and as soon as I'm warm enough, I want to head out, grab more cattails along the shoreline and any twigs, heading back inside whenever I get too cold, and I think if we stay in bed for another full day, we should be at, like, a decent enough condition to actually make the trek out of this area. Yeah, that's the plan right now. Also, you can tell in the background that the wind is picking up once again. So, I'm gonna go eat our last half of the cattails, we're gonna wait in bed, warm up, and we are gonna be going out and doing a few looting runs. Also, there's there's been cooking oil on the shelf the entire time! What? Oh, that's awesome! Okay, let's wait in bed and go out and loot. Okay, nice, we have subsisted. I think we did lose a couple of condition in our outing, but we now have 22 cattail stalks and 31 sticks. Right now we have no water, so let's go start up a quick little fire and see if we can get that cooking up now. Because right now water is all I need. Alrighty, it has been one full day. Now it's at a solid 50% instead of a 30%. I still have no idea if it's enough, but I'm judging from the sounds of the wind outside, it should be pretty clear for me to head on out and to look around the area. It is extremely cold, actually. I wonder if I should head out right now, but what matters is that we are recovering slowly and surely. 
We have 11 cattails, 2.5 liters of water, and we are subsisting. We can't stay in here forever though, so we are gonna have to move out soon. We will figure that out in the next episode though. I don't know if I'm gonna turn this into a series, but for sure we have survived our first day. Anyways, if you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. So, yeah, I will see all of you later. Peace the hell out, everyone.